The year is 2020 and the average driving distance for the normal man is 420 yards, mainly because we've seen an increase in MOI, 5% year on year, as well as a 10 yard ball gain from every new driver. But is it all good and what has it done to the golf community? In my right hand, I have a standalone Titanium 1995 driver. The transitioning period from woods being wood to metal. And what we weren't expecting is the rise of distance and gain, forgiveness, feel, sound that would progress over the next 25 years into a generic 2020 driver that we have today. But let's see the difference between the two. As you will see in the demonstration, we've got the 1995 Titanium Driver. Back when 300 yards was the goal that was sought after by a lot of golfers. Whereas nowadays, with the 2020 speed injected, thin faces, carbon crown drivers, 500 yards is very much attainable for the average golfer. But what does this actually mean for golf? But it's not just the woods that have obviously given us massive gains over the years from the R&D and technology advancements from these top manufacturers. We look at the irons and the way they've been developed. They're so soft, they're so forgiving, they're so distance gaining that the shank used to be a word ushed and uttered by a few. People scared to hit the shank or even say it on the golf course, whereas now it is one of the most desired shots in golf mainly because the hosels are so soft, so forgiving, that even when you do hit it out the hosel, it finds its way back into the fairway, 10 foot from the pin. Now, one of the more controversial topics is obviously the short game element of golf. Wedge manufacturers are made, wedge is so easy, so high spinning that any person could pick up a wedge and use the new adopted pivot technique, where gravity alone will make sure that you put the ball with inside five feet of the flag. Now the purists are saying this isn't golf. This isn't why we spent 30 hours a week away from our family and loved ones just so we could practice our 40 and 60 yard pitch shots. Obviously there's two sides of the story. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. As we all know 2019 was the last ever par 5 in operation at Bethpage Black. They held it off for so many years being one of the longest toughest courses in the world finally got rid of their last par five and changed it to a par four, just the same as every other golf course, as the pros were shooting 42 to 52 under on the regular, especially with Brooks Kepka hitting one drive 620 yards. Now it's not just golfers that are benefiting from this technological advancement as well as R&D that have gone into the hotter faces of drivers. It's been known now, even non-golfers are starting to buy 450, 500 pound drivers and putting them in rooms around the house, mainly to heat them up. It's been known that one strike of a driver would warm up a three bed house for up to 12 hours. And yes, it is 500 pounds for one of these clubs. However, in the long run, a lifetime supply worth of heat is gonna save a lot of money when it comes to utility bills. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. As we know over the last 20 years, golf clubs have got better and better looking, almost to the point, too good looking for their own good, which is why over the last five years we've seen a massive increase in people leaving their family and homes to go and live with their golf clubs, mainly due to the fact of looks, feel, softness, and especially forgiveness. And outside of the golf community and into the tech world, Elon Musk has been putting the golf giants, the tech companies under a microscope, seeing how they're making these technological advancements in terms of speed year on year. By 2060, it's predicted that the average golfer will be breaking the sound barrier with a normal three wood. Therefore, that kind of tech would be vital for a rocket ship getting into space and obviously being the first person getting to Mars. So watch this space. I don't think anyone actually fully understands the advancements that the golf community is making year on year. And to be honest, it'd be very interesting to see where we are in the next 25 years. I'm Simon Smith, another golf YouTuber, begging for likes and comments. Thank you for watching.